Good evening, everybody, or good night, or good morning. It is December 16th, 2022. It's 11.47 at night here in Evansville, Indiana. Okay, this is part two. Chapter 1, stick a geranium in your hat and be happy. Pain is inevitable, but misery is optional. Barbara Johnson. Okay, part 2. Diabetes. A new experience for me. Yep, for me too. It was. This is something that is brand new in my life. Although it is considered milder than juvenile onset, it carries with it all the life-threatening complications. I learned I had adult onset diabetes during a simple physical examination. Up to that point, I had no symptoms, no complaints, no warning signs. My doctor was dead serious when he explained to me the consequences of not following his orders, which seemed ridiculous to me at first. My orders were to avoid stress, get plenty of rest, restrict intake of foods, eliminating all good stuff with sugar, of course, eat several small meals a day at specific times, and prick my finger daily to keep track of my blood glu glucose levels. This lets me know if I'm maintaining good glucose control. Then he finished by saying, and because you're not the kind to accept that you have a chronic debilitating disease, you must attend a support group for diabetic people. Me? Me? Attend a support group? I lead a support group. Why ever in the world would I go to one? Yes, he said. Otherwise, you won't recognize the severity of it and will neglect taking care of yourself. The following week found me dragging my feet as I entered a room full of diabetic sufferers at the local hospital conference room. As I looked around, I saw about 40 people and immediately I decided the doctor had selected the most devastated cases to present themselves that night just for my benefit alone. On my first visit, I was considered a guest, so I didn't have to say anything, just observe. That was good because what I saw left me practically speechless anyway. One lady had gangrene and was to have her leg amputated soon. One man there had no feeling in his legs or feet. Another lady was blind from diabetes and also had another had other complications. As the stories unfolded, it seemed that each one was more horrible than the previous one. Every complication of diabetes was described, and it seemed that of those present... They all had one or more of them to contend with. I could hardly wait to escape that meeting. What a hopeless group. Their future appeared bleak as they rehearsed the complications that could arise from this life-threatening disease. The next week, I was back in the doctor's office pouring out to him how dreadful that diabetic group was. These people may need this, but I sure don't. Can't you tell me something good to say tonight when it is my turn to share? That is all for this video. Thank you for watching. If you'll watch.